I've been waiting to talk to you, Sheriff. I have been waiting a while. Sheriff uh, Bob Johnson is uh, is on with us now from Santa Rosa County, Florida. Sheriff, how are you, hey. sir? I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm very good. I have to tell you, uh, I don't know what the average person thinks, you know, especially in, in, in blue states. But when I hear... Quote, if someone's breaking into your house, you're more than welcome to shoot them in our county. We prefer you do, actually. Or uh, we're hoping this will be the third strike and he'll go to prison and not get out because we're tired of dealing with him, trying to, you know, to be honest with you. If somebody breaks into your house, you can shoot and kill them. The chances of them reoffending then are zero. And we like those odds. Holy cow, Sheriff. Nobody, a lot of people think that. Nobody says that. Well, and I can tell you what they say in blue states because I've gotten about 300 death threats since then. And which is kind of amazing. All these people who hate violence and don't want criminals to be shot, but yet they want to come here and kill me. That's kind of an oxymoron, don't you think? Wow, you've gotten a lot of death threats? Yeah, but it's all from states where you can't buy a gun anyway, so I really don't care. (laughs) Um, It is what it is. Have you always been this way, or has our society pushed you farther in this direction? No, I got elected in 2016, and, and you know, my citizens will tell you, my press conferences can be pretty entertaining sometimes. Yeah, I bet. And uh, because I speak, I speak my mind, and, you know, like you said earlier, it's common sense. Somebody's breaking in your house. They're not bringing you cookies or going to give you a hug. They're coming in there to break more laws, i.e. murder, rape, or whatever. And, you know, in Santa Rosa County— a lot of our citizens have guns, and I, and I promote the use of them. If somebody breaks in their house, like I said in the press conference, shoot them. Yeah. We'll go in there, do the paperwork, and get it over with. It's not as though, um, you know, I mean, I, I if somebody breaks into my house, as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, you're on my territory. You start to threaten my yep. children. You, I don't know what you're doing in the house. I warn you. And if you keep coming towards us, I will find you and I will shoot you uh, because I don't know what your intent is. I have absolutely no problem with that. However, I'm not for shooting people. There's a real difference here. And people don't understand that. Yeah, there's a big difference. I'm not advocating people go out on the sidewalk and find people they don't like and shoot them. I mean, obviously, that's against the law. But when you're in your home and somebody kicks your door in and then comes in your home, um, yeah, you shoot them. I tell you what, they do that in my house. They're going to end up a long, dark tunnel with a light at the end of it with Elvis and Grandma because I'm going to shoot them multiple times. Uh, so have you found the person as the citizen that shot this criminal and wounded him? Uh, no, no, they missed. They missed. Oh, they, they missed. missed. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said that uh, press conference, you know, come take our class. You will make it more accurate. Next time you'll hit them. So how did you know that someone shot but didn't know who it was? Did the criminal say? Yeah, no, no. What happened was we had about 20 deputies out there, and they were on a perimeter, and they were closing the perimeter in as we got reports of where he was at. And then one of the officers on the perimeter said, shots fired, multiple shots fired. Um, And none of our deputies shot, so obviously it was a homeowner. And shortly after the the, uh, gunshots, we saw him going over a privacy fence into the next yard where he kicked in another door, and that's where we cornered him in a bedroom. Holy and then he God. jumped out the window, and they caught him in the backyard. And so this uh, community member who had the burglar in his house and shot and missed didn't right. want to identify himself, and you think it was for fear of he thought he was going to get in trouble? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I'm assuming that yeah. because they didn't come forward. I'll tell you right now, obviously, you know, as I said in the press conference, you know, you're not in any trouble. I mean, you, you're more than welcome to protect yourself and your family in your own home. That's just common sense. So that's got to be wildly different because I, I know when I lived in Connecticut uh, and I went through gun safety uh, classes, you know, you call 911 uh, and you put the phone down and you make sure you're announcing you're afraid for your life, yada, yada, because you'll be in court for a year if you shoot, right. if you shoot somebody. Um, right. not, not that way in your county? No, not that way in my state. You know, we have a great governor who supports law enforcement. And, um, you know, we, as long as you're legally allowed to possess a gun, you know, and you're in your own home, you don't have a duty to retreat. Somebody kicks in your door, um, you know, and they're coming at you. 
you can shoot and kill them, and you are perfectly within your rights to do so by Florida law. I have to tell you, this, because I, I talk to sheriffs here in, in Texas, and we have, most of them are just like you. I mean, the big cities now, they're just, they're becoming crazy. Um, but right. uh, they're just like you. And this, this spirit used to exist everywhere in America. And it's, yeah. it's remarkable to me that you stand out in a country full of sheriffs, which are, you are our last defense when it comes to our rights. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, constitutional officers, you know, our fundamental responsibility is the protection of our citizens. Everything else is second. So, and when you have somebody kick in your door, and we have a great response time here in Santa Rosa County, we really do. It, for a hot call, what we call a hot call, some burglary in progress or whatever, it's three to five minutes. And that's pretty quick if you look at the national average. Oh, yeah. But what can happen in three to five minutes? A lot. A lot. A lot. Yes, a lot. That's why we have our homeowners. We, we tell them, please arm yourselves. Come take our safety class. Make sure you're safe with the weapon and know how to store it. Keep it away from kids. But when you need it, you can access it and take care of business. It is, um, it's remarkable to me. Pe- most people don't know. The term first responder began in the uh, Cl- in the uh, sorry Carter years under the Carter administration, um, and it was intentionally put there to make sure that people didn't feel like they were the first responder. But right, that, but we are. We call oh, you yeah. for backup. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to Correct. cower in our house. Right. Right. And like I said, three to five minutes, you say great response time. But in three to five minutes, if you come in a home and you have a weapon, I mean, you can kill five, six, seven people in that time frame before we get there. Well, only if you have a weapon of war that has more than one shot. And I'm just saying. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, it's amazing, too. That's another thing on gun control. So they think that's the only law criminals will abide by if we say you can't have guns. Well, they'll abide by that one. Yeah, no, it, it, you know, it makes me nervous, the, what we're doing with ammunition. Um, yeah. the, uh, the Biden administration, uh, not, separate and apart from the, the uh, uh, boycott that we have on Russia with oil, this is separate and apart. This started before it. We've banned all Russian um, uh, ammunition in America, which is the number one kind of ammunition for, you know, going out and, at a shooting range. Uh, and 40% of all of our ammunition comes from Russia. He's banned it for separate reasons, uh, and that scares me because if you do have a gun, you should be practicing. You should be shooting it. You don't want to pick it up and not feel comfortable with it in your hand. Well, Glenn, you better calm down now. You're making sense. If you don't want to have <laughs> Democrats calling you with death threats, so... It's incredible. But, um, yeah, no, I agree 100%. You know, you, you need to practice with them, and that's why we put on this class. It was every other Saturday. Now we're doing it. We've had such a demand. We're doing it every Saturday now um, for our citizens. It's free of charge, and we're going to try to get as many of them spun up on how to handle a weapon as we can so they can protect themselves, and we're proud of that fact. In Sa- Santa Rosa County, what what cities are in your county that we might know? Um, Gulf Breeze, Navarre, Milton. Um, we're right in between Pensacola and Destin on the Gulf Coast. Okay. Yeah, you're in the same part of, of Florida. You're, yeah, we call it God's country. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, Sheriff. Keep up the good work. Thank you for having me. You Take bet. care. Bye-bye. Uh, that is uh, Sheriff Bob Johnson uh, from uh, Florida. Please find out who your sheriff is. You know, when you go to vote and it just says sheriff, for my whole life, I was like, I I don't know. It matters. These are the guys. They are constitutionally elected. They don't report to anyone but the voters, according to the Constitution. And so when there is a real problem, it will be the sheriff that will that will rule over your county that will either keep you free and safe or not. I have a sheriff in my county, and I've said to him, what happens if they ban guns? They come for guns. You know, I don't think that's going to happen. But then again, I didn't think Roe versus Wade would ever be even argued, uh, let alone uh, repealed. And he said, well, that's when I deputize every single citizen in the county, and you better have a gun. 
Uh, that's the kind of sheriff that you need. One that knows the Constitution and knows their role as a sheriff. 